Hey everybody, happy Sunday. I hope we have all had a fantastic weekend, a fantastic week. Now, as some of you may or may not know, my partner has put me on a no buy September. I know, it's very hard not to buy, especially when certain brands are releasing Christmas stock and Christmas gift sets. I'm kind of like, come to mommy, come to mommy, you will be loved. But no, I am not buying. So... Basically, what I've been doing is I've been searching who my set of not my set, well, my stash of makeup, and I've discovered I had a few products that I haven't reviewed. I haven't really worn since I bought them, so I was kind of like, woo, chance to try these out. So last week I did uh, full face of Miss Sporty. So if you haven't seen that video, I will leave it linked down below. Now this week is a variety box. I have some NYC. I have Rimmel. I have some other goodies so I have just been kind of not buying but I've been reviewing products that have just been sitting in my little corner in my little cubby hole that just genuinely kind of needed reviewing so guys I'm just gonna jump straight in I have pretty much a full face of a makeup here and this is not a review it's not a bashing party it's not at all oh, I hate this this and this but basically this is just my first impressions of some of this brand and then I will have the full blog post up tomorrow, which will be a full review of it. So guys, let's get started. Now the first product I have oh, is a NYC Skin Matching Luminizing Face Foundation. And this is it here. And now this is actually in the shade medium. And this was literally the only shade that my chemist had left, apart from like really tanned ones. So I just got this one to try. And basically, this is actually supposed to shade just to my face. Now, I actually must say, I really like this foundation. My first impressions of it were, it has a really kind of tacky feel to it. And it does feel really horrible applying it. Now, I would recommend using a brush with this. I just use my regular old foundation brush from Ollie and Olivia and it goes on quite well it's not really patchy there's no real kind of orangeness off it it did illuminate I don't think it illuminized my skin at all I don't think it made any difference in that sense but I feel like it did sort of match my skin maybe it was maybe a little bit just too dark I'm a pale Betty and I just have to be really careful sometimes with what color I'm wearing but no, it um, wasn't too bad. It felt good. It's not really full coverage. I would say it's light to medium coverage. Um, It did take maybe two applications. So what I did was I put a first application on, let that kind of dry, not dry, but like kind of set in. Then I applied a second coverage, second layer foundation where and when it was needed. So yeah, first impression that foundation was spot on. Now, the next one I'm going to talk about is one that I personally love this week. And I've been dying to get one of these palettes for ages. This is the Lovatics by Demi Lovato. So, it's 12 gorgeous shades. So, it starts with... There's some nice, there's some mattes, there's some shimmers. But all in all, it's really good. Um, This is 030 uh, Night Out. And another thing I liked about it is... On the back here, it, it, it helped you divide each shade up into three. So there was an option for a brown carpet red look, a khaki cocktail look, and a purple date look. Now, one thing I would say about these is they're very pigmented. I'll do a quick swatch of just one or two of the colours for you guys. So you can see, as you can see, they are very pigmented. And they are very good. But the only thing is they're very powdery. They're very cakey. And they do crease. But first impressions all know, very good. Now guys, last product by NYC for this week is this one. And this is their Mosaic Face Colour Wheel. And this is in the shade 724 All, all Over Bronze Glow. Now, realistically, I thought this was going to be really good. I thought it would just look really good. As you can don't know if you can see that but that's what it kind of came out as now I don't know if it was the brush I was using or the product it just made me look 
very orange in places and I also found that I have very kind of dry patches on my forehead that it did actually cling to patches on my forehead so it should blend out really well but it didn't so first impressions of the colorway were just terrible I was not happy with it at all now guys sorry I thought that was last product the last product for NYC this week is this lipstick and this is a satin finish lipstick and this is in the shade Smooth Beige. So, I don't, that's it there. It looks very orange. But no, it smells nice. It applied nicely. It's not transfer proof. It's not kiss proof. It did kind of fade when I was eating and drinking. And it just didn't look right as it was fading. But all in all, I was quite happy with the lipstick. I thought it was really good. Um, I actually thought it was a very smooth application. So first impressions, all good. Now the next product is this, which I was dying to try. And this is the Wet n Wild uh, Mega Glow Contouring Palette. And this is actually in the shade De Luce De Leche. So as you can see, it comes like a banana powder here. And a contour shade. Now the contour shade was really nice. It was really easy to apply. It blended out and it kind of gave me that little subtle contour like what I prefer. And that banana shade is amazing. I don't even know if you'd call it banana shade. I've been calling it a banana shade and I've actually been using it to set my foundation, set my under eye area. Just that general kind of thing and I was very happy with that. Now guys, the last product for this week is this one. And this is the new Rimmel Volume Colour Boost Mascara. Now, you're supposed to be wearing this for two weeks, and in two weeks, it's supposed to tint your eyelashes to make them just appear a little bit blacker and a little bit fuller. But overall, my very first impression of this was it was really good, it didn't clump, and it actually did kind of volumize my lashes. Now, I was very hesitant because of the shape of the wand, I wasn't really going to be holding out kind of wow, but it did actually wow me, and I think it did. Add a little subtle tint of black to my lashes and it did make them appear longer and fuller so guys that's just basically a quick rundown and a quick first impression of this makeup now i'm just going to double check before i say this yes this the nyc stuff is made by a company called clty they do test on animals rimmel as far as I know, they are still testing animals, but this uh, contour kit uh, is cruelty free. Now, a few people have actually been asking me about that. I normally never really check the brands that are cruelty or not cruelty free. I just kind of just stick with what I know. And anyway, guys, if you have any comments, queries or questions, as always, leave it down below. I will have a full blog post up of this fabulous makeup's um review tomorrow sorry guys it's so late here and i'm half asleep it's been a long day and anyway guys i would also have a youtube video up this week this wednesday on 20 random facts about me so if you're not sick of hearing me natter on and talk shite about myself then stay tuned for that i will also have a blog post up this week on my impressions of my glossy box it was supposed to be up on Friday, but I got sidetracked. Um, my partner's sister is only home from America, and I wanted to spend a bit of time with her before she went back to college this week. So I've been so busy. And so far, I'm really happy with everything and how everything's going. So I'd like to say thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you all again soon. Bye.